All right, we got two more. Second to last, paranormal entities. You are Cliff, a college student who is a brand new freelance cameraman for the show Paranormal Entities, the number two rated ghost investigation show on the Hunting and Outdoors cable network. You have been hired to inspect the St. Augustine Asylum for the Mentally Ill. You will go into this facility, follow the producer's instructions through a radio earpiece, and... sorry. Uh, keep your camera on and try to make contact with the spirits inside. If nothing happens, you will get $500 for your time. If you manage to get some amazing footage or real paranormal activity on your camera... What? What do I get? Okay, I guess we're whatever. Oh, all right, oh. Clint. Uh, Cl oh, Cliff, 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 oh, wow. Cliff. Actual welcome graphics. Welcome to St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. My producer Tom said good things about you. In your backpack is a flashlight, a voice recorder, an EMF, and a couple of little fun occult ooh, things. It's, ooh, we'll it's phasmophobia. You know Kinda. Ready to pay off some of those college debts and beer tabs? Well, of course you are. <laughs> and when you're ready, enter <laughs> into those. Front doors. Okay. Ooh. Where are you? Nice. Show yourself. The door was unlocked. Ah, it can get a little sticky sometimes. So here's the story. Yeah, we're breaking and entering. So breaking and entering. It was founded in the 1880s, closed in the 1960s, and a lot of nasty stuff happened here. I mean, this place is only supposed to house around 500 patients, but at its peak, it was around 3,300 patients in here. I mean, the place was, you know, less of a hospital and more of a place where you dropped mm -hmm. your problems off and hope they disappeared. You still talking, bud? Those doors closed on their own? Bibble. In the end, this place was sort of against what the Bible said. Okay, you're going to let me investigate no or are you going to keep talking? Grace, no healing. Patients were not here to be rehabilitated. Ordinary people just wanted them gone for public. They shove those with non-threatening mental conditions or those deemed inappropriate to society together with legitimate psychopaths. This is where the hundred hall of violent monsters and basic heard that the patient God sort of Now just all thrown off. Then the war hit, count the depression the hit, then the, the budget's real. all fell apart. The room you stand in wants to deal with 20 cares. patients in what you can just place. By the end, never left. 50 patients would pass in this room, naked, starving, attacking each other at random. Laying themselves with metal wires from their beds. Be careful where you step. Okay. All right, this is a good place to start. I want oh, you to take out go. your voice recorder, and I'll hopefully be able to awaken this place. Where okay, are you? Show yourself. Saint Augustine, please reveal your presence to us. Show us that you are in this room. Feel free to interact with anything, or speak to us. Use your words, use your voice, and let us know that you're here. Okay, play that back. Let us know that you're here. Uh, nothing. All right, let's try that again. All right. All right, all right, let's try this. Ghosts of St. Augustine. Please let us know that you are still in this hospital. I give you permission to reveal yourself. I oh, give you no. permission no, whoa, whoa, to whoa. come to life. Just whoa, give whoa. us a sign that you are here. Tell us where you are. Speak to us now into this microphone. All right, check that. Now into this microphone. All right, let's try one more spot. Oh, come on. You're the worst. How you do ghost hunting through a fucking thing? Ghosts of St. Augustine, you're all a bunch of ghoulish pricks. Oh, the, yeah. Show they, up. All right. Piss off. Ah. Whoa, 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 did you hear that? Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard play that, play that buddy. No, 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 I don't need to play it back. Show up or piss off. Gather. 
side of the area. Nurse's office. Nope, that's not the morgue. Of course, I gotta go to the morgue. Patient rooms. Morgue. Of course. Okay, of the four areas you need to visit to fulfill your contract, the e-social area is the first on the list. This is the area where the inmates who are deemed a danger to society would convene. You'll go to this room and perform a summoning ceremony. So walk into the center and we will begin. Yeah, okay. Let's get this over with. In the center. Come on. Let's get the cheap jump scares out of the way. Come on. What am I supposed to? Can we can we move this along? I I don't have very many heartbeats left. You know. This is the entrance to the patient cells 220 to 240. This is where they kept the lunatics, the murderers, oh, yeah. the okay. sociopaths. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The worst of the worst, including Clive the Peeper Johnson. Mm. You'd think he would be a pervert. The Peeper. Named the Peeper. But the truth mm. is far worse. He was extremely manipulative and very intelligent. He was a murderer and a meme. Most of his victims could never identify him because he managed to convince them to gouge their own eyes out with metal mm. wires and even their own fingernails. Smart man. He came here due to legal loopholes, and when the facility went off the rails and the doctor stopped caring, <laughs> he jumped into action. The patients who didn't listen were tortured, and the ones who did wandered around the facility, blind, screaming, and in constant fear. This door's locked, too. Hmm. Let's mm. just start the ceremony. All of them are locked. Oh, yeah, okay. All right. Let's, oh, oh, yeah, this is a great idea. We know that you're here. Great fucking idea. Okay. Here we go. Let's just go ahead give me a heart attack. Oh, uh, there's one. No longer shielded from the realm oh, of the there. dead. Oh, there. Oh, okay. Seen, interact, and manipulate oh, him oh. In any oh way no, you don't do that. No, no, no. Don't. No, no, no. Don't, 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 don't. Just shut up, dude. Shut up. You're killing me. <sighs> Oh, come Don't on. Just stand there. Go go check it out. Oh, you shut the fuck up, dude. <sighs> Anyone here? Oh. That wasn't part of the game. I gotta pay much bills somehow. Okay. Ah, Jesus! You fucking creepy. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. What? No. 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 We're not doing this. Boxes. That looked like the safest room in the entire place. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't care about you. No. 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 Oh, come on. Of course, I had to do some summoning, stupid summoning, freaking ritual. Oh, hey. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's your name? How's it going? I'm not really get running. the hell out of there. Just, just go to the front door. Get out. Oh, here we go. Yep. Come on, run, dude. Why, why is this as fast as you're going? 
Let me out. All right, get out of this hallway and then take a take your second right. Uh, you said second right. Okay. Damn it, damn it. Oh, okay, there's a there's a staircase. Take the staircase up to the second floor, and you should be next to a fire escape. You should be able uh -huh. to get out that way. So so go up the staircase. Okay. Damn you, dude. Five hundred dollars. Yeah, what am I supposed to do now? It's locked. You're killing me, bud. Literally. Uh, okay, we need to... Let's go get something to pry this door open. Go back downstairs. I, I bet you there was something downstairs we could probably use. Hold yeah, on. okay. Uh, this is where I die. There before. This, this place doesn't even have a basement. The, oh, of what, course it doesn't. What is going on? Yeah, exactly. All right. Mm -hmm. I just, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think you got any other choice. I think you gotta... <laughs> Downstairs. Look, that's me crying, okay? Because I don't want to do this. I want to go home. I want to go drink my beer money. Drink my beer money. That's what I want to do. You heard me. You heard it here first. Drink my beer money. Hey, it's my circle. Hey, am I... This is that same hallway. Of course it's that same hallway. Oh, hey! What is that? What? Okay. I'm just gonna, you know... Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Oh, of course. Just keep swimming. I'm gonna follow the light candles to my death. <sighs> I just want out of here, dude. Just let me out. I got all turned around. I don't even know which way I'm supposed to go. This way? Yeah. Yeah. Spooky. <laughs> Am I still getting turned around? Hold on. I guess. Okay. There we go. Okay. This is the hallway of my doom. I should really get a heart monitor because I'm going to tell you right now, it's about 140. You know, it's like a cold pool, right? You just, you know, once you once you get it, you jump in and you just get the coldness out and the shock. Wait. Did they just don't see no uh oh. Hmm. How was it? Oh. Uh oh! Let me out! That one was... Oh. That's a weird picture. Oh. Alright. Oh, this again. Okay, let's fill out the story, okay? Day, you know, rampant hallucinations that progressively got worse. 
hours, but at night he never saw the beeper. Then he discovered that if he closed his eyes, he could escape Clive. But whenever he opened them, Clive would be there, waiting for him and getting closer and closer. Eventually, the patient used a fork and he blinded oh. himself. And okay. while he was soaked in his blood from his sockets, he screamed to the entire hospital that he was free, he was safe. Hmm. Then a week later, two more patients charged Clive with stalking them, even though he was oh. confined to solitary. I mean, it's crazy. Hmm. They, they took their eyesight, too. Oh, okay. The pattern didn't stop. I thought it was BS, but based What's with on this what picture? we've seen tonight, I don't yeah. pretty much believe anything. So, Interesting. Oh. You get the hell out of there, and if it gets too intense, try to shut your eyes. Oh, yeah. Thank, thanks. Thanks for that, that tidbit of information. How about I just get a fork? It's actually pretty neat. Uh, that, that's pretty creative and impressive. I will say that. I mean, let's take a take a moment to kind of like just appreciate the aesthetic. Ooh. <sighs> what am I supposed to do? Come closer. Okay. Do you? Oh, you're behind that cage. Run. Okay, I'm running. Kinda. Kinda running. Oh, I'm not turning around. I'm walking at him. Oh, jeez. Let me... Ow! Let me out! Get me out of this hell hole. Oh, I gotta turn around. Is there a fork in here? Is that what it is? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a scalpel. You got a choice. Either he gets you, or you're, you're gonna have to cut him out. Uh, uh, I guess I'll do it. Ah! Yeah, my it crap, did. Man, I mm. can't believe you just did that. You freaking gouged your eyes out with a scalpel. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm dandy. I know you're not. I, holy crap. All right, all right. We're, we're, we're getting a picture from your camera. The bad news is it's pitch black. There, there's no light. Your room, there's nothing I can see. The flashlight went out, and, and we, we don't even know where you are. I'm not going in there. I, I, do you, are you going in there? I'm not going in there. I'm, well, hell no. Someone's got to come in here and get uh, me. You guys are bastards. I'm. If you can't feel anything, I, I'm sorry, but we're not coming. I'm sorry, man. I have to go. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. See ya. <laughs> I like that. I really did like that. That was a good one. It was creative. It was creative. That was a good one. They made it in 10 days. That's pretty impressive. I like, that's a good, that's, I, yeah.